Hi, welcome to another video. If you guys remember, I showed you Web Dev Arena when it first came out. It allowed you to use a bunch of models for literally free and without any rate limits, which was insanely cool at the very least. Recently, I saw that their interface has been revamped, and the leaderboard is also now available with a ton of new models as well, which is kind of amazing. Now, if you don't know about Web Dev Arena, it is pretty much like Claude Artifacts or OpenAI Canvas or anything like that which you've seen. But because this is by LMSYS, it also has a leaderboard where you can see which models are the best. Basically, you can send in a prompt, and then you'll get two responses of code from two disguised models. Then, you can view the code, and you can also preview it to see which has a better generation. Then, you can vote for which is better, like the left one, the right one, or mark them as a tie. Based on that, the model's score will improve, allowing it to climb the leaderboards. This is fully free to use, and you don't even need an account, which is great. So, let me show you how you can use it and how it actually works. But, before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is an AI platform that combines all the best AI models and experiences at one place. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of others models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Also, make sure to use my coupon code AICODEKING20 to get an additional 20% off. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now, back to the video. First of all, you can just come to this new Web Dev Arena site, and here you'll see this interface. On the left, you have the sidebar where you can see the new chat option and the battle option. Both do the same thing. Open this interface. The leaderboard will show you which models are the best at coding, like Claude 3.7 Sonnet is currently at the top, followed by 3.5 Sonnet, and then we have DeepSeek, which is all kind of great. It even has Grok 3, which is kind of insane to see. Anyway, then you have the main things here. Here, you can see that this is the prompt box where you can send the prompt of what you want to generate or anything like that, which is kind of amazing. You can also use the Surprise Me option to generate something random, or you also have some prompts here. So, let's write a simple prompt to create a simple image cropper tool app. Once you've written it, you can just send in the prompt, and then you'll see that both the models over here start generating the code. You can see them being streamed here. Generally, the responses are extremely fast. So, after just waiting a bit, you'll see that the code is now generated, and it looks good. You can also see the preview in the block thing. It uses E2B for the preview, so you can also take the URL and share it publicly, which is great. Anyway, you can see the generations from both models here. Both look good, but this one is better over here. So now, you can vote for which you like best here, or you can do another thing. And that's the option to send in another prompt and edit it as needed. For example, we ask it to make the colors red. So, let's type in the prompt. Once you've typed it in, you can just send in the prompt. And it will again start rectifying the code to accommodate the thing you asked for. This will again take a bit, because things need to be streamed again. If we wait a bit, you'll see that the code is now generated, and you can see the previews update regarding that. Once you like either of them, you can just vote for one, or you can also tie them 
if you think both are good or both are bad. Once you do that, you'll see the exact model you voted for and which one you didn't. This is pretty great for sure. Even after voting, you can keep iterating on the stuff as well. So, like, we can ask it to do something again. Let's ask it to add a title saying, King. Once you've written the prompt, you can just send it. And then you'll see that it again starts editing the code and everything, which is pretty great. Once it's done, you'll see that it does what we asked it to do, which is great. If we wait a bit, you'll see that it's now done, and you can see that it did what we asked it to do. This is also super cool, as it's a proper usable tool that you can use to generate front-end and other stuff while helping the leaderboards as well. You can also download the code and copy it if needed. So, that's super cool as well. I think this is great to use because it doesn't cost even a cent, and you don't need to create an account, which is also great. Another thing is that it only generates React code. It doesn't generate anything else, which is a little bad for sure. But still, it's great for generating some basic stuff, like you do with Claude Artifacts or Canvas. So, that's super cool. Also, you can view the other text that the LLM provides in it by closing the preview. I think these things are really a good way to test these LLMs in practical use cases, because not everyone just wants to generate simple text. Most of the time, we use it for coding and stuff, and I think that this leaderboard will be great for sure, as it will allow us to see which model is really good at coding real things versus which are not as good. Also, if you're wondering which models it has, it has a bunch of them. Mostly, you'll see the new experimental models like Polis, which is rumored to be Llama 4, or Claude 3.7 Sonnet, Quen 2.5 Max, Grok 3, O3 Mini, and mostly these models. So, you can test experimental models through here as well. Another great thing about this is that you generally don't get a side-by-side -side comparison for LLM-generated code, but here you have that, and it gives great insight into the LLMs. I mean, using this is great because it's free, doesn't have a rate limit, and you're also contributing to the leaderboard while doing your own work. I really like it for that reason, and I think that you should use it too. So, it's really great for sure. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!